Hello, this tutorial is to explain about how multiple lines of text can be accepted from the user in Tikinder GUI application. To accept multiple lines of text in Tikinder GUI, we have a widget which is named as Text Widget. The text widget is used to display the text in multiple lines. Text widgets allow editing and formatting multiple lines text like its colors and fonts. The structures like tags and marks can be used with text widget to locate and apply changes to specific sections of the text. Images can be embedded within the text as it is designed to handle both the plain and formatted text. The important options of text widget Height, X scroll command and Y scroll command. The height is used to specify the height of the widget in number of lines. X scroll command is used to make the text widget horizontally scrollable. And Y scroll command is used to make the text widget vertically scrollable. The important methods of the text widget. The first one insert. It takes two parameters. First one is the index and the second one is a string which is optional and it is used to insert a string at the index location. The second method get. It takes two parameters the starting and ending index to index. It returns a specific character or a range of text from the specified index. So if only the first parameter is mentioned it will return a specific character. If both the starting and ending index both have mentioned, it will return the range of text from the specified index. The third method is delete. Similar to the get delete method also takes two parameters, the start and end index. It deletes a specific character or range of text from the specified index. If only starting index is mentioned, it will delete only one character of that. If starting and ending index is mentioned, it will delete all the characters from the starting and ending index. The text widgets also support the different help structures like marks and tags. So this is generally used to mark or tag a particular area of the text widget so that there are different kind of editing can be done on the different areas of the content which is present in the text widget. So there are some kind of methods which are there for the mark. There are three important methods for the mark which is mark set, mark unset and mark names. Mark set is used to set a new position to the mark. It has two parameter the mark name and the index wherein which the mark need to be placed. Second method is unset mark underscore unset this is used to remove a mark from the text widget. So we need to mention the mark that need to be removed from the text widget by using the method mark underscore unset. The third method is mark underscore names. It will return all the marks which is present for the text widget. So from the text widget all the set marks will be returned by using mark underscore names method. Similar to marks, we can use the tags. The tags are used to associate names to regions of text, which makes easy to modify the settings of specific text areas. So we have three different methods to handle the tags. The first one, tag underscore add. It's used to give a tag name to a particular region of text. So we have to mention the starting and ending index and a particular tag name. So tag underscore add method is used to tag a range of area delimited by the position start and ending index. Once the tag has been set, we can even remove that by calling the method tag underscore delete. So in the tag underscore delete method, we have to mention the tag name that has to be removed. The third method tag underscore config. This is used to configure the various properties which is required for the tag. 
with different formattings like changing the background colors, various different font styles. For that particular tag region can be set by using tag config method. Let us discuss an example of text widget. Create a text widget with multiple lines of text and use tags for formatting the different sections. So we'll create a text widget and we use a different tags regions in the text widget. So first we have created a window. Our window name is W1. We created a text widget. The height and the width, our height is 3 and the width is 30. So there will be three lines of text which we can display in our text widget. By using an insert method, we can insert some content into the text. So we are inserting content. So the content is split into three lines because we are using the slash n. On the first line, it is India. On the second line, it is, is my country. And on the third line, it is I love my country. So multiple lines of text will be displayed within the text widget, which is T1. And T1 with one dot back method will make the text widget to be placed on the window. Now we are setting two tags by using tag underscore add method for the text widget. The tag name is one for the first and this next is the tag name is two. And this is the region, the starting and ending index. The starting 1.0 indicates on the first line starting from zero. The ending index is on the first line itself on the ending index 30. The second tag is named as two and its index starting from the third line zero position and it goes on third line 30th position. The different configuration for the tag can be changed by using tag underscore config method. So we are calling tag underscore config method two times. The first tag. So we have already set two different tags. The first tag name is one. So we are changing the details for the first tag. Its background color we have changed to a saffron color and the foreground color we made it as white. Similarly, we are making the changes for the second tag. Second tag is named as 2. The configuration for the next tag also is changed by using tag underscore config method. The background color we make it as green color and the foreground color we make it as white. Thank you.